Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, certainly a dodging significant snow storm system passing just far enough to the south to just only graze our southern suburbs with about a dusting uh, to an inch of snow in some areas. Doppler radar looking good as far as precipitation. Nice and dry with a, a gradual clearing with the cloud cover, so not anticipating any snow this evevening and right on through the overnight hours. Uh, Narragansett, Middletown, Fall River, inch or less. A little coating down in Bristol, a dusting in Cranston. Northern suburbs, places like Pawtucket and Providence. Uh, nothing. So just getting clipped, getting the, the bulk of that heavier snow staying just offshore. Nice little, let me step out of the way because my head is blocking the sunset, but live pictures, a nice glow on the western horizon. How would it be nice to have this sunset occur an hour later? Well, we'll do that by this weekend. Daylight saving. All right, 24 outside right now. Feel like temperatures at 15. So there is a wind chill, and it will be slipping just below zero. So, I mean, while we're inching closer and closer to the calendar version of spring, I wish we had, you know, spring-like temperatures. I just really don't see any big warm-ups, unfortunately, this week. In fact, at 23 South Bay Retirement Living Center in South Kingstown with partly cloudy skies. We widen out the view. Uh, close, but not close enough. If you like snow, I don't know if anyone wants any more snow, but you can see that steadier band just offshore so missing us by about 100 miles but did clip the south uh, southern suburbs with a little coating of snow you can see the colder air settling back in again unfortunately so the temperatures are still running below average future cast this evening showing the clearing line coming through some ocean effect localized snow showers for the outer cape only overnight tonight uh, cold air passing over the relatively uh, milder waters of cape cod bay you get this uh, little what we call ocean enhancement so bands of snow out there but clear elsewhere eight o'clock tomorrow morning sunshine frigid start to the day here we are tomorrow afternoon just some fair weather clouds mixing in with the sunshine it's a cold dry and quiet day there there's no snow or storms on the way in fact giving it the green traffic light dry conditions tomorrow morning certainly very cold run the uh, car engine a few extra minutes let it warm up before putting it into gear temperatures do recover a little bit by tomorrow afternoon but we should be 40 41 this time of year so we're not even close to that but at least we have some sunshine with temperatures in the mid and upper 20s. Seven day outlook. Now, a couple of chances for some snow showers Wednesday night, Thursday, and then again on Sunday. But I don't see any big snowstorms or big storms or big concerns at this time. So good news there. Some extra clouds on Wednesday. It does get a little milder by the weekend. And one little hint of spring, we set the clock. So before you go to bed on a Saturday night, set that clock ahead one hour. So by Sunday, the sun will set at around uh, 6.34 in the evening, so a little bit of good news there. You can see the temperatures, though, still below average through at least Thursday and Friday, especially the next couple of days, pretty cold. We'll start to moderate by Friday and the weekend, closer to average, which is the upper 30s to low 40s. A couple of chances for snow showers, perhaps a coating on Thursday, but at this point we don't see big storms on that seven-day. Good news there. Yeah, and good news in the fact that for once a storm actually mm -hmm. missed us, mm -hmm. and the fact that daylight savings coming up this weekend. And the calendar, version of, yeah, right? the calendar <laughs> version of spring is only a couple of weeks away. All right, Mother Nature. <laughs>